Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani. If you're new here, welcome and to my regular watches, I appreciate you. On the menu today, let's make these delicious orange banana pancakes. They're so delicious. So here I have my ingredients. I have some flour, some overripe bananas, some melted butter, as well as some eggs. I also have some honey. And then here I have my spices, my baking powder, baking soda, salt, and some grated nutmeg, as well as the zest of the orange. And then I also have some orange juice as well as some vanilla. So now we're gonna go ahead and just mash our bananas. So go ahead and place your bananas into a bowl. The riper your bananas are, the better this process will be for you. So just keep mashing until you've broken down your banana to some smaller pieces. So this looks great. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our eggs. We're also gonna add in our melted butter. We're also gonna be adding in a two teaspoons of vanilla. I'll leave you the description box below all of the ingredients. I'll just go ahead and give this a whisk. If you don't have a hand mix, a hand mixer, you can also just use your fork to go ahead and just mash this up and incorporate them together. All right, so this mixture looks good. So now I'll just go ahead and add in my honey and then I'll go ahead and add in my orange juice Next, I'll go ahead and add in the zest of that orange. So I just used a grater to just grate the outer part of the orange. And you wanna make sure not to get any of the white in there because then that's too bitter. So now let's go ahead and sift in our dry ingredients. So in goes our flour and all of the dry spices, the salt, the nutmeg, and the baking powder and baking soda. So I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk this up with my hand mixer just about a minute, not longer because um, if you keep mixing with this mixer you want to you wanna make your batter tough which is not what you want you want light and fluffy pancakes so just go ahead and use your spoon to just whisk in the rest just until the flour is completely mixed in then you can also just leave your batter to rest for about five to six minutes there so after that just go ahead and just heat up your griddle on the stove melt some butter on there if you don't have a griddle you could just use a non-stick pot. So I'm ladling the pancakes in by half teas, half cups measure full, but you can also make them smaller by quarter cups full. So I'll just go ahead and lay them on and I'll give them a turn after about two to three minutes. These look great. So I'll just keep going until all of the batter is used up. All right, so here we have our beautiful pancakes. I got about 12 from this recipe, but you can also get some more if you use the smaller cup. And these are lovely. These were so melt in your mouth. I mean, literally, they were the most tastiest pancakes I've ever had. And I love pancakes and I've tried them almost everywhere. So I hope you really like the recipe. You'll give it a try and serve these up for any occasion, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye now.